In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys DIY ideas for doors. These are two doors that are close together in my home and I plan to give them a design that will be mirroring one another. I'll be using 3D panels for my design. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take this out and spray paint it gold and then cut it to a size that will be round and then looking similar to one another for the doors. Here I just took out the height of the door and I'm cutting off the excess. I'm going to mark the middle and this is going to be for an arc that I want to be making in this design. So the curve for one door is facing this way and for the second door is going to be facing the other way. You will need help for someone to hold it on the other side so that the arc will come out okay. When I'm done, I'm going to cut it to size and then attach them to the doors. This is how the shape for door one is going to look. And this is door two that is together with door one. This is the shape that I have. Now let's see how it's going to look like on the door. Now I did spray paint the handles so that it will go with the design. In order for my design to work the way I want it to, I'm going to be covering what I have on the doors now with a plain chalkboard. I'll be attaching the panels to the doors with a strong adhesive. I'll use this flexible trim that I got online in spray painted gold to cover up the edges. I'll cover the rough side here with plastic that has been covered with contact paper. And I'm using a strong adhesive to attach this to the door. I put a tape line at the top and at the bottom and didn't really like it in the end so I took it off. This is now what both doors look like and from afar they're so pretty. They look like artwork and no one will even know that they're doors. It's so pretty and I love the way it turned out. Here's another idea for temporary designs and I'll be attaching them with a mounting tape that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm doing this so that if in the future I don't like the design, I can easily take it off. But if you want to make it permanent, you would have to use a strong adhesive and attach the 3D panels to the doors. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos.
I'll be adding trims around the door. I'm going to cut them to an angle using an angle cutter and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I've got two doors close to each other so I'll be repeating the same design that I did for this one on the other one. I'll be closing up these visible lines here with caulk. I'll be using a much slimmer PVC trim to decorate the sides of the doors. You can get this from Lowe's or Home Depot. I'm going to be covering the trims with gold contact paper and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I'm not so sure about this one either, so because of that I'm going to be mounting it with a Dollar Tree mounting tape. I love the way the doors look like now and they have a unique look with a 3D panel. Now because of the design that's on the door, I would have to cover it up first before I continue with the project. I would like to see what a wooden door here would look like so I got this from Walmart and I'm going to be attaching it on the door. Now for the middle part where the door handle is, I'll be using this rubber floor mat that I got from Lowe's, spray paint them silver and attach them to the door. In order to have it positioned well, I had to use my hand to locate where it's kind of bulging out and then I'll use my nail gun to attach it firmly to the door. I opened up provisions for the lock and the handle. This is a molding that I got from Lowe's and I'll be spray painting this silver to use it as the frame for the door. The design you see at the bottom was for a different door, but then it's the same molding that I use for this door as well. 
I'll be covering PVC lattices with mirror reflective paper and attaching them to the door. I'm going to be cutting smaller strips of mirror reflective paper to use on the thinner PVC strips. And these will also be used on the door. This is beautiful and simple the way it is, but I would like to see what it's going to look like with a screen panel. And I've used this before in my previous home. And all I did was take a screen panel, spray painted silver, cover it with Mod Podge, and sprinkle crushed mirror glass over it. And when it was dry, I covered it with extra layers of Mod Podge to make sure that the crushed mirror glass stays in place. When it was dry, I cut it into two and attached them to the sides of the door. I repeated the same thing and cut them to size to fill up the empty spaces that I have on the door. This is what it looks like. The middle can be changed, so what I did was to use a white contact paper that's marble at the middle. This design you can choose to leave it simple or add extra design to it or even make it brighter and after six months of enjoying the design i decided to change it and use 3d panels and leaving it white on the doors The openings and the cutouts will be covered with plaster of Paris and caulk. I put mirror bars at the bottom just to cover up the open space that was there. And as you can see, the holes have been covered. And the overall look of the door now looks simple but yet futuristic. And while this can still be spray painted, I'm just going to leave it white. Here are some other door designs that are renter friendly. Someone had made a request a long time ago on how to use panel frames on doors to beautify a rental without spending too much money. Now these are your typical panel frames that you get from any home improvement store. But there's another option by using Dollar Tree mirrors. Now I got these mirrors and I decided to just use the frames. These are smaller, but they can equally look good on doors. I picked the silver because I'll be working with silver. Now here I have silver and white. You can use white as well if you prefer white for your design. I'm going to take out the mirrors and use just the frames. This is the first door that I'll be working on and I had already gone ahead to use tape around in the middle. Now you can cut small strips from a mirror reflective paper and use it on the door. Or you can also use this tape that I used on the door as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach the frames to the door and I'll be applying a mountain adhesive tape at the back. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos.
I cut a little piece and attached it at the bottom because there was a lot of space there. That was quite easy, right? Now for the second design, this is the door that I'm going to be working on and I'm going to clean it properly before I apply anything to it. I cut three pieces of marble contact paper that's going to be applied to the door. Now I'm using this because it's pretty close to another wall decor that I did with the same marble contact paper. So I'm going to have all three that I cut pasted on the door like this. I put this directly to the door because it's easy to remove and also easy to adjust and it won't do harm to the door in any way. What I have is flat so I'll need frames around the marble contact paper but the frames that they have at the Dollar Tree are kind of small so I decided to just make my own by cutting the exact size of frame shape that I'll need from a foam board. Instead of using white, I decided to go with gold. Now you can cut strips from a gold reflective paper. Or you can use an adhesive roll that's golden, that's just like a washi tape, only that it has more. To safely mount this to the door, I got two options, either a mounting tape or a double-sided tape. Now because I'm using foam boards and they're light in weight, I'm going to use a double-sided tape. You can leave this the way it is because it's still pretty. But for me, before I started, I actually measured what I have around my door and decided to use crown molding at the top and by the sides. I cut it to size and then I spray painted it gold and attached it to my door using tack nails. I would love to have angled attachments for my molding, but because of what I have here, I have to place my molding just about the same way the design on the door looks like already. I spray painted them gold and attached them using tack nails. Now this is what it looks like and I love it. I actually went ahead to add something again. Now this is totally optional, but I wanted to see what it was going to look like. 
So I got this on lace and spray painted them gold and attached them to the doors. I'm just gonna leave that there and see how I feel about it later. For the third door design, I got my inspiration from Pinterest. And this design is on a wooden door. Now this is the door that I'm gonna work on. And the first thing that I did was to look for a contact paper that had almost the same color. I am not so in love with the wooden background, so I went for something close to it. So I got this from Target, and it's a contact paper, and I'm gonna apply this to the door. Now I'm gonna make a little shape using my double-sided tape here just to guide me when I'll be making the design. The shape of the design is similar to a starburst mirror or half starburst mirror. I got thin wooden dolls from Walmart and I'm gonna spray paint all of them gold. Now I'm gonna go ahead and glue them to the door. I want you guys to know that I am applying the hot glue to the contact paper and not directly to the door. I'm going to be cutting down the dolls to the length that I need as I continue with the project. I'm gluing the dolls to the marks that I made and that was really, really helpful. When I was done, I realized that I could just add more. I mean, it's my door. <laughs> so I decided to just add more dolls in between. It turned out so beautiful. Now this is how all three designs look. I really love how these door designs turned out and I used affordable items in making them. Remember guys that these are ideas for rental spaces. Now you can have a different route if you're using them in your personal home, but I'm in a rental. So these are quick and easy ways of having your doors updated in a rental. Now I really hope you all enjoyed these ideas and learned one or two things from them. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.